welcome to episode 7 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. Do not blink, it's December 19th. We're almost at the winter window. Our next game, annoyingly, is on Christmas Day because there's a lot of football that happens on Christmas Day. It's going to be a humongous week of football. Mansfield, Doncaster Rovers and Sutton United. Ah, yes, this Mansfield town formation is still a thing of beauty. We've got Noodle here to cheer the boys on. <laughs> I doubt he'll be there for long, because as soon as he realizes I'm shouting, I think he'll be out of the room. <coughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus! First match, Mansfield against Stockport. It's a perfect time for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We'll use Juicy John's run as a decoy. Even though it's very difficult to cross slide in. And that's a red card! For Bowery, didn't think too much of it at first. Gale's been substituted off. He's devastated today because only 15 minutes have been played. We've got this free kick 35 meters from goal. Try and loft it into that corridor of uncertainty. It's a big win for Stockport. The right back is allowed to get further forward, express himself. All of a sudden, it's got a bit panicky for the home side. Oh, and Gerrard's hit the post. We have to capitalize. Out wide to Johnson. Gerrard, onside, Juicy John has to be the first one there. Collins just about keeps it together for Mansfield. villain has got some distance to the header, but not much else. That should be a nice catch for Lopez. At the moment, we're not doing enough. It's Novak. Get returns. Johnson is the option if it gets there. And it has Johnson top corner. Stockport County have the opening goal. Now it's about planning our defense for the next 45 minutes. What just happened? Why have they got a free kick? Oi, oi, oi. I don't like that. They just got a free kick from out of nowhere, about 20 yards from goal. There must have been a handball of some description. Yeah, he's flicked off Saiz's hand. Knuckleball corner kick to start off the second half. Here's Johnson. Can, can we get the ball back in? Oh! Gerard uh, tried the bicycle kick, you know. I respect the ambition. I don't respect the shot. It's, um... It's ballooned over. It's pathetic. Get across there, Sanders. Don't let him just burn you for pace. Aikens against Bustamante. Well done, lad. Win that. Yes, Novak. Gero. How's that for a ball? It's fantastic! <coughs> Juicy John! <sighs> That's not Gera's fault for once. It's a perplexing finish. Gera through the centre. Oh, he's got to finish this now. Finish! Yes! Two touches. Potentially saves the lad's career. A great pass to Juicy John. And that's a fine finish there to the bottom corner. I'm going to stick to my first impressions. He seems like an alright footballer. He just needs to learn how to be a striker. I still have the belief that he's going to get there. Gary is fine in space. Oh, here we are. Juicy John had to lob it over the goalkeeper. Was, of course, going to rush out. We've got this. Yes. No. Where's the market, Buster Man? Say, where are you? We can never do things easily. But we've got a man extra in the centre. Juicy John standing tackles clean. If these guys get back into it, you are all getting sold. You know that. You are all getting sold. Forever remembered as the bunch of bottle jobs. Gera to take it away. He does have the strength. And that's a ball. Gera's been fantastic today, lads. Let's be... Proper we in. Good goal by Novak. 3-1. Didn't need to be like this. We are some scenes. Always love the limbs. It looked like a measured performance by Mansfield before the sending off. Once they did go down to 10 men, they looked pretty defeated. It was just about getting the job done. Good work, Gerard. You played really well today, mate. The comment section wasn't particularly pleased with your performances last episode, but that should get people back on side a little bit. We wanted to see Stockport County out of the relegation zones, and that's the gift that we've been given on Christmas Day, 21st place. Hopefully we didn't use up that much energy 
We're looking all right. Definitely a bit better than Doncaster Rovers Tomlin. The worst affected we can change. Let's get win number two of this episode. As that late victory against Crew Alexandra all of a sudden snapped Stockport into action. Cook on the left hand side. He has to skip past the foul. He's done well with the step overs. Nothing comes of his good work instead. Actually, a breakaway for that tired Tomlin who's gone over. Our keeper, Lopez, is flat-footed to the effort. It's a stunning attempt. Lee Tomlin took his time. Goalkeeper could have done a little bit better, Lopez. I tell you what Cook has done. He's made me appreciate Novak a lot more. Not really the intended purpose there. His skills are very free-flowing. It's just that there is no end product. I'm going to have to check if he's any good at a different position. But with his passing range, do you even dare stick him in midfield? Yellow card for one of the defenders, that's uh, Adam Long. Might give us something to concentrate on in the second half. He's in direct competition with Juicy John. That's a sly tackle. Good work. Oh, come on, referee. I've clearly won the ball there. He's got booked. Nah, man, that is so clean. Are oh, you having a laugh? Where's the interception? There it is, Shimon. Pearson sends it out to the right. Rayner, best thing to do is hold because storming through the middle is Juicy John. Rhythm is a dancer. Juicy John's the answer. Let me sniff that ginger. Why stop there? Let's get a winner. We're starting to figure it. Oh my goodness, I've given the ball straight to Doncaster's attack. That's undone all of the good work. Novak's on for Johnson. Oh, that's been given straight to Reyna. John is onside. Gera is onside. Please finish this. Oh. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Sing in the shower. Perform to shampoo bottles. What an audience. Look at Kramer. He's like five yards behind the defensive line. He tracked a runner that didn't need to be tracked. It's been a real test of patience, this one. One step forward, two steps back. If you can't do the simple stuff right, what are you expecting? The result is going to just reflect how poorly you played. I'm really glad that we've got players that seem to not be phased by stamina problems. Sutton United against Stockport. Let's send 2022 off with a bang. Sutton United, their attack, it's nightmarish for us. It's very quick. And they're trying the chip early on to make it 1-0 Sutton. Shambolic from Stockport. However, two against three, three against three, whatever. This should be a chance here. Oh! I don't think that's a juicy John goal. I think that's taken a touch off the defender. Good life. Own goal. We might have to play a bit of anti-football. Try and get the next goal and sit on it. Trying to get the next goal doesn't mean standing like statues at the back. How many more times am I going to have to live with that? Especially from villains. Villains. Kramer's not that much better. Managing this team, playing with this team is about as hectic as it comes. It's like doing algebra. I hated doing algebra. All of a sudden, it's Bustamante at the back. He tries to slide in. Lopez. What more can you do? Oh, this is a sinking ship today. So many times through this first season, we've scored a goal and immediately conceded. Simply no chance to relax. No chance to plan the next move. This was all over before it began. I just don't know what Willems is doing. I don't understand his point in life, his reason for being here. Person is doing better at right back. Oh, could have tripped up Wilson there. Ah, oh, me and my big mouth. 4-1 Sutton United. No matter who we've got at right back, it's just an absolute pain. Here comes five if it wasn't for... The bad pass across. Let's have a light-hearted moment at the end. We'll we'll go for a knuckle ball corner kick to the back post. Uh, I played the ball to Bustamante there. You could have at least allowed me to finish the attack, referee. That was very one-sided. 13 shots to three. That loss has just begun a desperate quest for a new right back, by the way. These lads are low overall. I'm expecting them to make mistakes. But get back. 
and help out the rest of your defenders. The monthly scouting updates are coming shortly. I will accept the offer for Ryan Crowsdale, who only has six months left on his contract, so that's good money. Colchester showing interest in Ramon Guerra, which is funny because I'm pretty sure the board want to talk about him right now. Jamie? Hello, Wes. Despite some positive results in the last few fixtures, the board are frustrated with the lack of goal contributions from Guerra. We want him out. Please make sure he is sold if an offer of 20% above his valuation is received during the winter transfer window. 20% above his market value would be 840,000. Colchester wanting for 810. We need the numbers in the team, even if Gero is not exactly the player that we want up front. It's numbers more than anything right now. There is a deal in place for Kramer to go out on loan, but of course we're not going to agree with that if there isn't any solid fullbacks in the scout reports that have just come. We've also got this £230,000 offer for Scott Quigley that is being accepted. Roly Sepp is brought by one player, it's Gavin Wynn, and he's not good enough. Let's hope Freeman Hansen has had a better time of it. Well, that is a 71 to 94 potential player in Mason Wheeler. Looks like a winger. Does he have the wheels to get us into goal-scoring opportunities? In Canada, there's not much there. Devastating. Really needed them reports to be good. Riley Sanders can change to a centre-back. He's moved up to 56 overall. I'm desperate for anything other than Willems at right-back, so we're bringing back Kowalczyk. Alberto Soto is a right-back as well. Hmm, it's gonna have to be, isn't it? And let's bring up Nils Anderson. Just anything else than what we've got currently at right back and left back. Stockport County against Wigan Athletic in the FA Cup. It will be quick simmed and it will be a slight humiliation. We were supposed to get to the final 16 of that competition, by the way. Figure that out. St Mirren can have Kyle Wooten. Free transfers coming in for Ryan Johnson, Ben Hinchcliffe. Doesn't look like Scott Quigley's going anywhere. Try and get Barkley out the door. We have to play in our away kit for silly AFC Wimbledon reasons. We've packed out the bench with regions. Kowalczyk and Soto as our wing backs. It's going to be tough. They're a good side and they're defensively stacked. Every single game you tell me that we're the worst defensive team. You do not need to remind me. I can see it on the pitch. They are going to be dangerous from crosses with Hudlin as one of their forwards. He's like six foot eight, six foot nine. He is a beast. Soto's got recovery speed. Closing down speed as well. Yes! This game is way more 50-50. Why did it take so long for me to take Soto out of that youth academy? That's half time. I've hardly broken a sweat. Way easier than the advanced mathematics that we were doing beforehand. Now it's up to Sanders to stop the ball from going into the box. Oh dear! It is three against one Bustamante! Soto, a standing tackle in anything. Just foul. Do what you need to do. Young Coombs. We know about this lad, Bustamante. Here's Sanders, well played. Might drop to Young Coombs. But look at the awareness of Soto to just guard the ball. And it rolls harmlessly to Uray Lopez. Full time. You've got to take it. I'm sure that Wimbledon beat us in our first meeting together. And you couldn't really look past the draw. Six shots for both teams. I don't know if I believe in all our young players, but I definitely believe in Soto. The manager rating is leaking at the moment. Let's take in some of your comments. It upsets me greatly that Pearson has not scored a long shot yet. It's difficult to find someone as good as Alexander Rosenberg, what can I say? Ron Vink, as soon as I hear the off-tune piano, I start feeling existential dread. Good. I would be lying if I said that I didn't want you to feel that, to be honest. Kieran comments, love you, Cutsy. James, yeah, I like you, Cutsy. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The final comment, shiny swallow, no Vike, more like, yes Vike, let's go Pavel. Difficult to commentate through this episode because I was defending so much at times that your brain kind of switches off on every other thing that you're doing. It's all about trying to stop the AI from scoring. We're gathering information every single episode and I think we've hit upon something with the new right back. Surely with that change, we're going to be a better side defensively. We've dropped back down to 23rd, but it's only by goal difference and our goal difference isn't that bad. 
that. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Thank you ever so much for all the love that you've shown this series so far. If you want to go the extra mile, we've got the Patreon, them absolute legends on the right hand side supporting me financially. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow, I would expect, because this is a daily thing. I need to get some more sleep in. That's what I need to do. Bye-bye.